Welcome to this brief tutorial on Fibonacci Forex trading strategies that work. We're going to go a little beyond the basics of Fibonacci today, and I'm going to share with you, well, I wouldn't say it's advanced, but it's definitely intermediate. So let's jump right into it. So one of the most basic techniques for Fibonacci is the good old Fibonacci retracement. So we start with a major low on the chart. We go to a major high, and it draws a retracement back in the direction of the movement. So for example, this is what's called our impulse move from a low to a high. And then it draws these retracement levels. This is the basic stuff, all right? And that's basically what percentage of the move the market then comes back down. So if the market stopped right there, whoops, well, I could kind of move my chart forward. But anyway, if the market were to come down to this level here, it would have retraced 23.6. If it comes down to that level, 38.2, you get the idea. Okay, that's the basic stuff. Now, let's add to that. Actually, we're going to add two different elements. That's what makes it a little more advanced, is we're not just doing one thing here. So you'll notice, first of all, that this is a 60-minute chart. So we're going to combine two different Fibonacci strategies on two different time intervals. So, getting a little fancy there. So we did this on the big scale, and these lines are going to stay here. Now, basically, um, Fibonacci levels, I just treat as support resistance. Depending on which side of the market trading, they're either support or resistance. So let's take that off. And actually, you know what? Let's move forward a little bit. I'll just show you what happens here in the future. And just to demonstrate to you that, yes, these levels really do come into play. And so we see that the market came down to this level and then it just really found uh, support there for quite a while and then it broke down went down to the next level and then went down to the next level so these support levels these turned out to be support levels they really are providing places where the market is looking people are watching this a lot of people trade a 60 minute chart on the euro us dollar and so it kind of has a self-fulfilling prophecy and a lot of people use these retracement levels. Okay, so enough of that. That's the basics. Now let's move beyond that and let us pull up a, oh, what should we do here? How about, a, let's go with a short-term chart. Now, um, we got our five-minute chart here. Let's look for some kind of a uh, trending pattern. Um, so, oh, there we go. Okay, now we got a move. There you go. So that's what we want is some kind of move where we can draw Fibonacci levels. So now we're going to do two different things here. So first of all, as you see, we've already changed the time intervals. So we're, this is the energy of scale. We're looking at the same market, but on a different scale. 60 minute down to a five minute. And then the second thing we're gonna do is we're gonna use a different Fibonacci technique. So now, instead of the Fibonacci retracement, we're gonna do the Fibonacci extension. So now we do it from this high to that low, there's your impulse move. Okay, again, impulse move. And then we're gonna come back up here to this high. So the Fibonacci extension is a three-point drawing tool. And by that, I mean, as you saw, so we did our initial uh, impulse move, and then, so we're going for one, and then two, so we've got a lower low, and then a higher, or a lower high. Lower low, lower high. Now, whereas the Fibonacci retracement, if we were to draw Fibonacci retracement from here, we'd be looking for levels above. Now we're looking for levels below. In other words, really, Fibonacci extension is often used for profit targets. So let's take a look and see what we got here. And there you go. So you'll see that to put in this level here, that's your 100% move. That's called a measured move. And then 150%. All right, now when it went to 100%, notice, actually, first of all, notice a couple things. What are these horizontal lines here? Well, those are the lines that we drew from our 60 minute chart. They're still on there. So if I go back, you see the blue line there. Let's draw our, make our scale different here. We're gonna have to squish it up a lot. But see those lines, those horizontal lines, there you see the diagonal line. Um, they're still on there. They're still on there. All right, now come back here, messing up my scaling. 
<laughs> but uh, the point is, where did we get our impulse move? There's our impulse move. And then it draws levels into the future for targets. So we've got a down move and we're looking to go short and we're looking for profit targets. And again, support resistance. But notice that the market responded to, so this is from our five minute chart. That's the level we drew on our five minute chart, the extensions. And these lines that go before that, that's the one we drew from our 60 minute chart, the retracements. So you'll see that indeed the market kind of got through that level a little bit, but then it came back and acknowledged it, retraced to it. Then again, same thing happens here at the 100% level. It goes through it, but then it comes back and acknowledges it. And you'll find that a lot. Then what's really interesting, and this is really kind of the point of this particular lesson, is that we continue on down and now we put in our wave seven and a failed nine here. But what happens? We have a cluster. We have a cluster of, you can see a black and red line. They're very close together there, but I think you can see those. So from our extension on the five minute chart, we've got 150% extension and that's the black line. And then we've got the red line from the 60 minute chart, Fibonacci retracement. And that creates a cluster. And there the market really finds um, tremendous support. It comes down to it, bounces off, comes down to it, and then bounces back up again. So that creates a Fibonacci cluster. And let's see what else happens here. Just move it forward a little bit. It comes back and look at that. It just again, one, two, three, four. Really having trouble getting through that, isn't it? And as we go through, oh, it finally makes a false breakout. So we finally get a, a breakup, but it's a false one. That goes right back up to the measured move, the 100% level. And then guess what? Comes right back down to uh, the cluster. And just showing you a little bit more here just to demonstrate to you how well these levels work. It's there again. Then it comes back up to this level, comes back up to it again. So yeah, this stuff works, <laughs> okay? The market definitely is looking for the, it's almost like, like people will talk about them as the market bouncing off of them, and that's true, but here's another concept for you that you can think of them. Think of them as magnets. So most people treat them as um, the market or, well, the lines repelling the market. And actually that is true, sometimes it'll do that, but before it gets there, it almost acts like a magnet, like it changes poles. <laughs> so once before the market gets there, it's pulling it toward. And then when the market gets there, it pushes it away. It changes the pol polarity of the magnet. So um, it actually will, the market will go there. And the reason is it's not any kind of, you know, electromagnetic dynamics going on. It's just purely the fact that a lot of people use these techniques and they have a self-fulfilling prophecy because these are the levels where masses of market participants are looking to buy and sell. So it's really that mundane as to why it works. But the little analogy may be helpful for you. If it is great, if not, that's cool too. So that is a way of combining two different types of Fibonacci techniques, two different time frames, and the reason the clusters work, and let me finish with this, the reason the clusters work is because you will have one group of traders, for example, using a 60 minute chart, and they'll draw those Fibonacci retracements. And then you'll have another group of traders uh, maybe using five minute chart, and they'll draw those Fibonacci extensions. So the clusters don't work because, oh, there's two lines on the chart. Wow. No, the lines mean nothing. Nothing on your chart makes the market do anything. It's what those levels represent. And what they represent are what masses and masses of traders around the world are seeing. And therefore, since they see it, they respond to it. They buy off of it. They short off of it. They take profits into it. And so when you've got clusters, it's just that many more market participants. And that's the reason that it actually works. That's the market logic to it. So it's no magic to it. It's actually very, very, um, very simple and very logical. So hope you enjoyed this uh, video on Fibonacci Forks trading strategies that work. Add this to your arsenal if you want to. Uh, experiment with it. And um, also, by the way, hey, if you like this video, if you found it helpful, if you got value from it, 
you actually have a moral obligation to pay it forward. Please click the share button below and share it on social media. That really means a lot to me. Also, if you're watching this on YouTube, please click the thumbs up icon below and leave a comment. I love to hear your comments and interact with you that way. As you'll notice, I do respond to comments. Also, I'm giving away one of my favorite trade strategies called the rubber band trade. It has a very, very high win-loss ratio. It's a simple trade, and I'll teach it to you in about 26 short minutes, absolutely free. So you can get that by clicking on the image in the top left corner, or if you're on a mobile device, click on the little eye with a circle around it in the top right corner of this video. And if you're not watching this video on YouTube, you found it somewhere else, well, that's great. There's probably a link below or an opt-in form on this side. Anyway, once you choose one of those options, I will personally email the video to you with the rubber band trade strategy.